Hey guys, how are we doing? So welcome to uh, BSF TV episode one. This week we'll be talking about your strategy with your New Year's resolutions and talking about your mindset between now, leading up into Christmas and into the New Year. Okay, so let's talk New Year's resolutions. Now, uh, New Year's resolutions are, for me, um, uh, New Year's a great time to start something new. I th it's like anything. If you look at a Monday, it's the start of a week. So let's start something new there. You look at the start of a month, you're going to change something there. And it's kind of like that. It's no different from the start of a year. I'm going to have a great year. I'm going to be fit. I'm going to lose this. I'm going to do that. And fuck me. <laughs> After two, three weeks. Why? because you don't get the structure right, because you don't get the motivation and you don't have the accountability. You can want, you can have that desire, that passion, that inspiration, because it's a new year and that will only last so long before you realize that you have to be disciplined, that you can't be a subject to distractions and that you have to have clear rules about how you are gonna move forward with your life, health, business, relationships, personal development, the four areas that I talk about within my book is a state of mind. You have to look at this and break where you want to be in a year, reverse engineer that and break that down into the quarters of the year. So first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, fourth, you're working to 12 week goals. And then you break that down and reverse engineer that into your weeks. So if your target is, I want to lose two stone, okay, great. Let's say in the first 12 weeks, you're gonna lose nine pounds. That is your goal. If you lose more than that, then bang, you're on top of your target. Okay, if you're not, then you're not working hard enough. Okay, or the diet that you're on isn't working enough for you, or you are not committed enough to your training, or you're allowing all of the distractions that uh, got in the way last year to overwhelm you, stress you out, and take you away from what you're trying to achieve. And what I would say is that when you look at setting your New Year's resolution, set them in four standards. Health resolution, business resolution, personal development, and a relationship. Choose one. Don't overwhelm yourself with, I'm gonna quit coffee, I'm gonna quit fags, I'm gonna quit chocolate, I'm gonna quit this, I'm gonna quit that, go to strip bar, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so <laughs> focus on one thing in each of those categories and then absolutely fucking dominate those uh, those four points, absolutely zero laser focus, be inspired, be on it, be motivated to stop fucking making excuses, stop putting things off, burying your head into the sand and actually achieve those targets because after the first three months, you will build momentum. You will build momentum and that's what we're doing with my academy at the minute. So my guys that are in my academy, we are planning our year because as soon as January starts, they're not gonna know what's hitting because I'm gonna be going straight in for them. I'm gonna be hard on them. I'm gonna be holding them accountable. I'm gonna be motivating them. I'm gonna be making sure that they achieve the best year of their life and they have no idea what's coming. You know, same with the guys who are joining us on a six week program. I'm gonna be all over them, all over them, like a nagging wife in the year because that's what you need to make sure that you have that motivation and that drive to keep working, to keep pushing and to achieve and turn your life around and change that belief system in your head. So think carefully before you're making those New Year's resolutions. Okay, so with Christmas, um, 17 days away from the day that I'm filming today um, is the couple of weeks before Christmas. And I think the biggest mentality going on is that it's just their old, fuck it, I'll leave it until after Christmas. There's no point in doing anything now. Now, what I want to do is try and shift your attitude from that and try and uh, achieve something leading up to Christmas. I almost want to challenge you to be able to do that so that between now and close to Christmas, maybe uh, Christmas Eve's Eve on the 23rd, that you try and do something. So we got from today, 17 days. So if you were to watch this, when the time you get this, there'll be about 15 days to go until Christmas. That's a possible two weeks worth of training. So within that 14 day period, can you imagine actually having done maybe eight to nine sessions or of home PT? So if you go to my YouTube account, the Dad's Coach TV, there's, there's over 100 workouts for you to do. They only take 20 minutes. Getting eight 20 minute workouts in before you go to, um, before Christmas, then allows you to drop all of that guilt and that, just that pining along more calories without having any um, out calories going out. And that will reduce that bloatedness feeling. It will reduce that feeling of frustration and you just think, ah, oh, fuck it, stuff my face. 
okay? It will actually put you in quite a good mood leading up to Christmas because it will stimulate your brain. And these are things that I want you to think about and these are things that you should you should think about and instead of kind of going, you know, I'll wait to January and make the old New Year's resolutions, which we will probably last two weeks. So be on top of it now. And as soon as Christmas is finished, be on top of it between Christmas and New Year. And then as you go into the New Year, you are building momentum for that New Year so that when you set yourself the New Year's resolutions that you're going to change your life, you're already on that, you're already on that path. You're already making those changes. And then with Christmas out of the way, you have pure focus for the first quarter of the year. And you can go, right, this is what I want to achieve in that first quarter. Um, and so many of the guys who have joined us on the six-week program have already said, bang, I want in. I want, I want to already book in a date. I want to book something and have some structure in place for when Christmas is finished. And those guys have got a four-week program we give them for free. And I've said, look, get three or four of these done a week. Or even get two done a week. That's, it. That's even better. Um, so, you know, keeping on top of it so they don't just think, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put all of this in, all of that food in and, and can neglect myself and booze it up and put on a stone and put on all of those calories. You're going to be on top. You're going to be in charge. You're going to be in control. You're going to be motivated and you're going to have that set goal that you're just going to maintain some survival basis uh, until the new year.